We can't video record? Is this a public pool or not? It is. Hey look dude, let's get this out of here. Get what out of where? You're recording kids, man. Oh, I'm not even focused on kids, brother. I'm just talking about... I'm, I'm just recording the public pool. I'm, I'm not here to mess with kids, brother, believe me. Okay, yeah, no, I, I, I don't care. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Why? I was gonna ask you about diving boards. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm asking you to leave, please, sir. Uh, why? Because you're recording. We've asked you several times to stop recording. Because we have to protect our minors. Protect them from what? A photograph? Probably those. What am so, I doing like wrong? We can do it one of two ways. We can ask you to leave, and you can leave civilly, or I can call 911. Sir, I can't here. stop you from doing anything. Goodbye. Goodbye. You know, you're not going to talk to me like a child. That ain't going to work. And I don't like your attitude. I don't like your attitude. You're filming minors. So what? So what? If there was children in a parade, the if These there were children, children in a parade, in suits, and you're filming it, I'm and awesome. I have students here. Awesome. And, I can't and who are you? Uh, um, why do you need to know? Okay. My I haven't been. I haven't been threatening to nobody. Let's not start that. Uh, I mean, but can you see where that's odd when there's people swimming, like kids and stuff? Shalom, Pada fam. We are in Lufkin, Texas, and this is their swim center ran by the Boys and Girls Club. I used to go to the Boys and Girls Club in Illinois, and uh, we didn't have a pool in ours. So it's kind of cool to see that the Boys and Girls Club is still going, and they have a swim center with the pool. So that's not something you see every day. But it says it's public, so we're just gonna check it out a little bit and look around. Uh, I was gonna go to the library, the Memorial Library over there, but they closed real early on, today is a uh, Thursday, they closed at 3 p.m. They have really uh, obscure hours. It's really weird how they do it. Lufkin Swim Center, it says it's public, but I think, I think Boys and Girls Club would probably be considered a private entity so if they tell me to leave i pretty much think i would have to not really sure though Let's see what they say swim center parking only school buses. Yeah, a pretty big pool in here though. That's pretty cool. Well, this is like, I guess the community can come in here and swim at will. It's pretty neat. Yeah, and there's no problem. Yeah. It's like they got a steel trust building. Yeah, I'm just I'm just working on a story. Everything's fine. You guys just be like you are normally. Is this free for the citizens here to come to? It's a $3 per swimmer fee. Is it? Okay. Are you with the publication? Uh, yeah, but don't worry about that. I, it's not public yet. I don't know if it'll get picked up or not, the story. Yeah, but I don't think we're supposed to be video recording. Yeah. You can't video record? Yeah, no, we, we have, have kids a, in swimsuits and stuff. Yeah, we have a, a bunch of minors, and we're also on school property. It, it's what property? School. School property? Oh. Is this a public pool or not? It is, but we're also funded by the school. That's fine. It, I'm not trying to zoom in on any kids or nothing, man. I'm not here for that. 
I'm just doing a story about the, the city and the amenities offered. But if it's a if it's a public pool, you know, they're in public, it doesn't really matter, you know. So it's three dollars to come here and swim, and I don't think you have to be a resident to you don't have to be a resident, right? To come here. Yeah, so anybody with three bucks can come in here and swim. So that's pretty cool. City of Lufkin. So on a day like today, it'd be cool that um, it's hot today, so it'd be nice to relax and cool down. So they're doing that kind of crap that they did in that church in uh, Tupelo where they, they go, uh, you can't record because it's children in swimsuits. Who cares? Children have been in swimsuits for a long time. I was a child in a swimsuit. You were probably a child in a swimsuit. Who cares about children in swimsuits? I mean, I guess maybe somebody who's perverted or some kind of child molester would, but you know, that doesn't mean that everybody that's filming is one of those people. I'm definitely not. I have no interest in little children at all. So they can take that and go somewhere else with it. All right, let's take a walk around the block. big this uh, pool is, but it's got a pretty good size to it. This door gets closed shut. False alarms. Well ventilated. Whatever happened to diving boards? We used to have diving boards at pools, but pretty much got rid of that. Seems like probably I think it was a liability liability reasons they got rid of diving boards. Pretty cool though. The American flag up there. Some bleachers, I guess, for competitions and things. Get what out of where? You're recording kids, man. Oh, I'm not even focused on kids, no, brother. I'm matter. just talking about. I don't care. I'm, I'm just recording the public care. pool. I'm, I'm not here to mess with kids, brother. Believe okay. me. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't care. So uh, it's a single party consent state, which means you don't need anybody's consent. Unless what it, What is your name and what is your capacity to work here? Sir, don't record kids, guys. Don't record kids. I'm not recording kids. This guy came out and told me to get out of here not to record kids. I'm not recording kids, I'm not here for kids. And even if I did record a child, not a kid, because they're not goats, that would not be against the law. Anyway, they keep these facilities up pretty good. Yeah, this reminds me of Tupelo all over again. The do not record children doctrine where did that memo come from and why come i missed it when when was it illegal to record 
a young human being. When did that, when did that happen? That is uh, kind of unbelievable, actually. So here's, I guess, the main Boys and Girls Club, the main uh, building. Oh, look, they're closing. They're closing the door over there to protect these these children in a public pool from a camera. Okay, that is odd. I could just walk back in the front door. So, here we go. But yeah, I don't know how many boys and girls clubs have pools now, but it's cool to see it. It definitely would have been a welcome luxury back in my day when I was going to the boys and girls club to have a a pool. But no such luck. Man, they like closed all the doors. Wow. And I told him I'm working on a story about the city and the pool, the public pool. How come they got rid of diving boards? So it's $3 for any members of the public that want to come here. It's a public pool. Just don't take pictures and video. Uh, you get a fifty dollar other clothes on Friday. I was gonna ask you about diving boards. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm asking you to leave, please, sir. Uh, why? Because you're recording. We've asked you several times to stop recording. Uh, there are minors in here that are below the age of 18, it's which, not, to my knowledge, is illegal. So I would have to ask you to leave. It's not illegal or, to record somebody in a public pool. Okay, well, public we need pool. to ask you to leave. I'm asking you to leave at this point, so it doesn't matter. We're asking you to leave. Is this a public facility or private? Yes, sir, but we're asking you to leave. If it's public, you can't just kick me out because you don't like I'm doing a story on the place. Yeah, no, we can't. No, you can't. I have to be breaking the law. No, you. I, I, what Sir, am I doing I can wrong? Do it one of two ways. We can ask you to leave, and you can leave civilly, or I can call nine one one. 
Yeah. Sir, I can't sir. stop you from doing anything. Goodbye. Goodbye. You know, you're not going to talk Goodbye. to me like a child. That ain't going to work. Well, sir, when you're acting like a child, I'm going to talk to you. I'm, I'm, I'm you. being very respectful to you. Goodbye. I'm just telling you I'm working on a story. I'm a journalist. Okay, what, what publication are you I don't need to give spill my guts to you about you that. With? I don't need to tell you that. I don't like your attitude. I don't like your attitude. You're filming minors. So what? So what? If there was children in a parade, the if These there were children, children in a parade, in swimsuits and you're filming it, I'm not focused on children in swimsuits. You're okay, thinking well, that. The fact of the matter is, is we're asking you to leave. So therefore, well, if I haven't, door, if I haven't broken the law, then it's a public place. I have the right to be here. We ask you to leave. Anybody can ask you to leave. That works. You can ask, and I can decline. No. I haven't broken a law. I'm sitting no. here peacefully recording. I wouldn't call 911 though. That's an emergency yeah, line. I would just so. just call, yeah, call the, the non-emergency line because I'm not a threat. I haven't threatened anybody. You are, haven't threatened anybody, but there are minors here, and when the minor, when there's minors, you're not allowed to film. Ma'am, that's not true. That's not true. Well, what's so everybody in Disneyland would probably be under arrest if that was true, ma'am. Think about it. You're not making any sense. Okay, sir. I, you're freaking me out. Yeah. Um, you I'm I'm that's sure right. You you can do whatever you want. I'm okay. peaceful. I'm not threatening anybody. No, you're not. I'm doing a story on this the city and the amenities here. I told him I'm a journalist. I don't understand why you're calling the police on me. I'm being very nice. We just, we just don't want the parents, the patrons, to freak out at all. Well, tell this is a time. This is a time where you can educate them and tell. Look, this guy's working on a story. He's with the press. He's doing a story on our city. No big deal. Why, why, why call the cops on me? What did I do illegal? Because we have to protect our Protect them from what? A photograph? I'm not even zooming in on the. Ch I don't care about children. Okay. That's in your mind. It shouldn't matter that we have. It shouldn't matter that I'm recording. You're asking me to leave a public place. I asked. Did I not ask? Is it public or private? They're probably doing something wrong. So if they're breaking now, the law, it's different. Ma'am, listen, let me educate you. You can't kick somebody out of a public place because you don't like them. You have to kick me out for a reason, but you have to have a reason. Like if you want to say, hey, you're black, I don't want you here. That You couldn't do that. I'm giving an example. I know she didn't say that. I said, if. I'm trying to make, make her brain click and get it. If you said, I want you to leave because you're black. You can't do that from a public place. You can't demand me leave. Okay, what law am I breaking? Who are you? Actually, what I want you to do. You're not even dressed in any type of uniform. Come on, let's go. Let's go look. Come on, let's go look. Come on, show me the rule that says I can't take a picture in here. Uh huh. Have to obey life okay. You to oh, you're stretching that one. Yeah. Obey the life card. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who yeah. are you? Can you identify yourself? Are you officially an employee here? Who are you? Well, you come over here trying to enforce your authority. You can't tell me who you are, but I'm not trying to you tell you what to do. You need to come and address you yourself. You need to say, my name is such and such. I'm the manager here. And that's why I'm asking you, like, you just, you look like a normal person in here. You don't even have on a badge, a name badge. Hi, I am a swim uh, coach. And awesome. And I have students here. Awesome. And, and who are you? Uh, um, why do you need to know? I'm students? just friendly, I'm asking. You're not friendly asking them. I have I'm not yelling at here. you. Ma'am, I'm not here to mess with your minors. I'd have a zoom telescope lens it, on them or something. It doesn't matter. I'm filming the pool shape. as a whole. Well, the pool as minors a whole. Are minors are everywhere. Minors are everywhere. Okay, so what are you recording? I could go to a park and what film. What are you recording for? Because I'm working on a story. I'm a journalist. Okay, for who? I don't want to get into that because you guys are being confrontational to me. I'll divulge the story when it gets released. I haven't, I haven't broken any rules. Okay, you do whatever you want. Hello, how are y'all? How are you doing, sir? I'm doing just fine. What's going on today? I don't know. Can you first identify yourself and name and badge number? Officer Ely with the local police department. And badge number? Uh, radio number is 243. All right, you, sir? I'm Officer McMullen, 237. All right, cool. My name's Shannon. How are you? Good. You just 
All right. And you're recording? Or? Yeah, I, I came in here and I started recording outside, okay. recorded inside, I walked around the building. I explained to them that I'm a journalist and that I'm working on a story about boys and girls clubs. Okay. And they're telling me that I can't film and I've asked multiple times, is this public? Because if this is a private place, I have to leave when they tell me to. But if it's a public place, they can't just kick me out because they don't like me. That's against the law. I have to break a law to be kicked out of a public place. You can't just go, I don't like him. Get out of here. Boys and girls will have a public entity? That's what they told me. I asked. When I walked in there, I said, is this a public pool or is this a private pool? They said it's public. And I asked again when I came back in because they closed the doors. Well, it, it may or may not be, but I asked them and they, they all vouch for it. The, the people that work here, uh, her and another redheaded gentleman who acted, they never identified themselves as managers or anything, but they acted as if they're in authority. Well, I'm trying to explain to you that they didn't identify who they were. Cause he asked me who said it. I said, they didn't identify like the manager. The, so they didn't really even say that. They just came over and started barking orders at me. And, and I said, is this a public place? Again, I asked twice. They said, yeah, it's public. I said, okay, well, you just can't kick me out because you don't like that I'm working on a story here. What kind of story are you working on? I don't get into that right now because I'm working on a story until it gets picked up. What's your name? I don't give my name. I haven't broken a law. I mean, you definitely can ask for it, but you can't demand it, obviously, because I haven't broken a law. And I've been nothing but nice. I haven't been belligerent, mean, nothing. I've been just, just like I'm talking to you, I've been talking to them. Just calm voiced, hey, trying to explain it to you, not cussing you out, not doing nothing crazy. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a mean person. I haven't been like walking up on kids and I'm, I'm standing way back, long distance shots, and, and I'm just doing a story on the pool. Big deal, right? Yeah, I mean, but can you see where that's odd when there's people swimming, like kids and stuff? I can see somebody being uncomfortable with no, it. I asked you, is that odd? Well, odd and uncomfortable are similar, correct? Like, would you have kids out here? Like, would your kids be out here and you'd be okay with someone just filming them while they're swimming in their bathing suit? I would question them. Yeah. I would I would go up to them and say, hey, what are you doing, of course, yeah. yeah. I think that would be reasonable. Yeah, I'm a reasonable person. Okay. All so, right. and then if they say, hey, look, I'm a journalist, I'm working on a story, then I would say, okay, well, that's what he's doing. He's working on a story, he's a journalist. I mean, why keep badgering the guy and bothering him if he's in public? Minding his own business with a camera working on a story. You see what I'm saying? It makes no sense. Now, if I was in here yelling, causing a scene, throwing stuff, it's another story. Well, they said it was public. Right. Well, I asked them, I said, is this a public pool? They'll tell you that. And they said, yes, it's a public pool. And then when I looked it up online, it said it said that it was open to the public, but I came in here and I clarified. I said, is it public? And they told me, yes. And I'm sure they'll tell you that. She and the, I don't know where the redheaded guy went. He was so excited to get the cops here. Where the other, oh, there he is. He'll tell you what he told me. I'm not lying. And plus it's being recorded. So if it's a private entity, you know, if he tells me to leave, I'll leave. It's no big deal. Let's not be secret, secret. We'll be right here. I mean, I'm allowed to listen. You're allowed to listen. I'm, oh, come on now. Let's not start that narrative. I haven't been. I haven't been threatening to nobody. Let's not start that. Walking up on other. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, geez. Come on, brother. Somebody's nice and respectful to you. Return the favor. What is your name and badge number? We don't have badge number. What is your ID number? Whatever number you have. It's what? And what's the number? One, two, three. One, oh, shoot. That's cool. Yeah. This recording minor stuff has got to stop, though. It's a little excessive. So, yeah, if it's a private uh, property, and he asked me to leave, I'll leave because I don't I have to leave because it's not public. But like I said, he clearly identified this as public property because I asked it's him. It's open to the public. No, I get it's, that. It's the Boys and Girls Club and that's a right. private entity and this is private property. Yeah, so if, if that's the case, I'll leave. I, I'm not here to be on private property after I'm being asked to leave. 
but he told me that it's public property. I, I know for a fact it's not. So. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. I'm not going to contest that. Okay. If, if you say to leave and it's private property, I'll leave. It's no big deal. My point was, if it's public, like they told me, then you can't make me leave because you don't like me recording. Because this is a First Amendment protected activity, okay. freedom of the press. Yeah. You can't tell me to get out of here because you don't like it. I don't care if the place is full of minors. It doesn't matter. It's still open to the public. Huh? I'm aware. Yeah. Okay. So now is it switched to private property? They don't want you here. Okay, is it private? Is it private? Yes. I understand that. Okay, well then they have the right to do that. No problem. I, I follow the law, I don't break it. All right. So we got quite the response from the Boys and Girls Club not liking me recording in the public publicly accessible pool but to be honest with you I have a feeling it might be private property being the boys and girls club so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight that one it makes sense to me let's see I think I'll go let's see I'll go this way so I don't see a sidewalk that I could go to All right, Pata fam. So there we go. Luff, Lufkin, Texas. I know I said Lufkin earlier, but I did that on purpose just to uh, mispronounce it for the people that might get triggered by it. Once you know, then you know, Pata fam. But yeah, so there we go. That is the Boys and Girls Club pool in Lufkin, Texas. And for all those people whining about, oh, kids, you yeah, are children. Shut up. There's children and kids everywhere. I call them children. You guys call them kids. But they're not baby goats. So, uh, yeah, who cares? Let's go to Disneyland and just start hemming people up for real, man. I tell you. You can get a whole lot of arrests in a, in a short amount of time in Disneyland if that's illegal. But I don't think the cops did too bad. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Prove all things. I'm out. Slinking around trying to see what they can discover. <laughs> Wonder what the guy's driving. Left. Lufkin PD, the mighty Lufkin PD. We got him circling back around, getting a double dip. Getting a double dip on that action, baby. What is he driving? What, where, where is he coming from? Where's he going to? We need to know. We need to know. All right, so I'm taking a seat here. Yep, look. <laughs> ah, look at him. He's behind the bushes. You guys can't really see him right now. Look, there he goes. Look at him. Look at him. Trying to be slick. <laughs> oh goodness tell you one thing you're exercising your rights in public man people hate it they want to criminalize you quick if it ain't the the old protecting information now the new one is oh there's children here in swimsuits if it was that inappropriate don't have your children out in public in swimsuits 
I think that would just make too much sense, wouldn't it? Waiting to see what I was driving. They're probably over there across the parking lot waiting for me to get up. Probably saw me sit over here and decided to go like across the parking lot to keep eyes on me. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs>